35 years, and if I had to give a profile of who would be a mass murderer, that would be you right now. Harsh words from a Kent County judge to 27-year-old Todd Jamison. Jamison admitted to using racial slurs targeting a predominantly black Grand Rapids church and funeral home. The slurs were left on a voicemail and in an email. Jamison appeared for sentencing today in a Grand Rapids courtroom. 13 on your sides. John Hogan has more now on what Jamison said and how the judge responded. Todd Jamison apologized for his rants last November. He said it was rude. The judge said it was racist and sent Jamison to prison. You, sir, are clearly a racist, and there is no excuse for that. Police say Jamison was responsible for racially charged phone calls and email messages. They were left with Brown's Funeral Home and Brown Hutchison Ministries, both located on Jefferson Avenue Southeast. And you made outrageous racial slurs to the point where I couldn't even repeat them in this courtroom. You threatened these people. You talked about exterminating them. Paula Woods was a recipient of the phone calls. She says the threats still have her looking over her shoulder out of fear. The, the temperature of the world today and all the violence going on is just unacceptable. Jameson conceded that his actions were not very nice. I did not think about the climate of the world and how, you know, things are happening, you know, with insults and you know, all the, the bad, you know, the shootings and whatnot. Jameson pleaded guilty in late May to ethnic intimidation. Now, he has prior convictions and run-ins with police, which Judge Mark Trusak says includes assaultive and disrespectful behavior. If I had to give a profile of who would be a mass murderer, that would be you right now. Ethnic intimidation is a two-year offense. Sentencing guidelines called for a term between zero and nine months in jail. The judge went outside those guidelines, saying the offense and Jameson's subsequent behavior warrants a harsh term. You're very lucky you're not looking at a 10 or 15 year maximum because you'd be going to prison a lot longer than you will be today, sir. With that, Trusak sentenced Jameson to between 16 months and two years in prison. Take him to prison. I hope you think every day while you're in prison about what you said and did. In addition to prison, the judge hit Jameson with a $5,000 fine. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.